A property stylist is somebody that comes into your home and creates a space that everybody will fall in love with. It's often, often tapping into an emotional connection with people and it's to appeal to a broad target market. So really a property stylist will come in with lots of beautiful things and it really doesn't matter if it's the homeowner's personal taste. It's about appealing to as many people as you possibly can. That can include things like a boy and a girl in a family, so doing a boy's room and a girl's room. It can include um, trying to show somewhere where people might have a casual meal together or just showing them exactly how that property can, can appeal to them and appeal to their lifestyle choices. An interior decorator will come in and, and think about the family that's living there and really try and personalise that space for that family. So it's really important that they get a couch that's going to be able to suit everybody, that it's highly comfortable for them, and that that space that they're using to live in becomes a functional space for that family on their own. Um, often with that, there's also um, a personality profile that goes with that. So if they love purple and green and orange, then you will incorporate all of those colours for that, that family to be able to live in that space. That process is something that can take up to a couple of months and sometimes it might take people 12 months to find exactly the right piece of artwork or exactly the right sofa. Whereas a property stylist coming in, that's something that will only take a couple of hours to set up an entire property for them and really the family's personal choice doesn't come into it, it's about trying to appeal to a broader target market. Back in, um, in the year 2000, my husband and I sold our first property and the agent came through and asked um, how much it was to professionally present the house, which I thought was absolutely hysterical and I would laugh. And then the next week he would say to me, I've had another couple of people ask, how much is it to present the house? And I would then laugh. And at the end of the sales campaign, he said, Cherie, every week for five weeks I've asked you how much it is to present the house. And I said, I know, I keep laughing because I did it myself. And he said, I know that you did it yourself, but how much is it to get you to do it for other people? And I said, oh, no, no, I couldn't do it for other people. I just know what I like. I don't know what other people like. No, that's not me. And then about five years later, we had a really sudden death in our family and it was somebody that uh, we just loved, that was a, a big hole to fill. And she didn't like her job. So at that time everybody was saying, you should love what you do, not just get paid to work. And for whatever reason, I thought of property styling. I was too embarrassed to tell my husband that I had thought of that. So I gave that a real estate agent a call and I said to him, do you remember me? You sold our property about five years ago. And he said, remember you, I thought that you'd never call. Come in for a chat. So I went in for what I thought was a chat and a cup of coffee. At that point in time, I was actually on maternity leave, so I wasn't thinking about business in that frame of mind whatsoever, and I really just thought that I was going for a cup of coffee with this real estate agent that had sold our property. And I actually walked into a boardroom meeting full of real estate agents. My sales background did kick in for a little while, and then I realised quite quickly that I was a fish out of water and that I really wasn't going to be able to wing this. So one of the real estate agents had said to me, but how do we know if you can do it? And I said, well, you don't know if I can do it because I don't know if I can do it. So I offered to work with them for a month for free. And if um, I was adding any value to their, their vendors, then they could hire me. So I did that. And each time I saw a client, I would ask the client to fill out a survey and give it directly back to the real estate agent. And I had no idea what they would be saying about me on those surveys. And at the end of the month, they called me in and they asked me um, how I thought that it went. And, and I was very shy and said that I thought that it was okay. And did they like you know, what I was doing for them and what were the surveys like? And they said, they were fantastic. How much do you want? So I um, was really embarrassed and said a very small amount. And literally every time I got called out for a job, I would ring my husband at the end of it and say, I can't believe they paid me to do that. That was so much fun. And then after a little while, um, I realised that people didn't have nice things around them. So I would say something as simple as um, a nice vase of flowers on the, the dining table to give you a little bit of height, or you need an artwork on this wall, or you need some cushions on that couch. And people would say, oh, I don't have things like that. And then one day a lady said to me, I don't have a vase. And I said, oh, I would have 20 at home. 
here's my address, I wrote it down on a post-it note for her. And so just come over and, and pick out what you want and then bring it back to me when you're finished. And she came and knocked on the door and she gave me $20. And I said, what's this for? She said, the vase. I said, no, I don't want your money. I'd, I'd feel embarrassed to take it from you. She said, I can't take it unless you take the money. And then I came into my husband and said, there's something in this. People will pay to hire stuff. And literally that's as simple as it was at the start. My husband really got sick of us not having any dining chairs, not having any cushions on the couch, not having any artwork on the walls. And then somebody needed a three-seater chocolate leather sofa, and I had two. And my husband said, there's no chance you're taking that sofa out, sort yourself out. And literally that's how it started. So from there I hired furniture from other companies around Melbourne. Um, and I did that for about five or six years and that was really my grounding to, to get to know what I was doing. And then a few years later we decided to start out on our own with our own range and the rest is history.